So I'm going to be explaining how I made this rig. The way this rig was built, most of the limbs are in pairs, which means we have the arm L, then we have the deaf arm L. The reason why this was done was because I wanted more control with the bones squash and stretch and do a lot of things without losing the compatibility with unity when you want to import as humanoid rig so for now i'm going to be talking about how the arm was made so let's start with the deltoid this deltoid bone is mainly controlling the shoulder muscle there are two constraints two rotation constraints one of them takes the x and z axis of arm l which is up and down and the x which is uh, back and forth and it takes it at a value of one which means it takes the whole thing i made another um copy rotation constraint that takes only the y axis while i disabled the x and z and it takes this as a level as a value of 0.1 this is because it doesn't follow the rotation completely if i was to put everything together and put at a value of one uh, this is what will happen to take it completely but i wanted more control so I can still you know play around with that the next muscle group is the deaf arm this deaf arm has a driver that controls the scaling of the z and the x axis this z driver controls the bicep flexing now if you look at the z driver it's being controlled by four arm bones x rotation which is this rotation the red one so anytime this rotates this will enlarge along the z-axis and the z-axis is the blue line which is this way now look at the default state of the arm you check that it's one then when you go and you flex it a little bit up check it again it's 1.15 which means it has gone up a little if i keep going in then it will flex a little bit more 1.17 now this bone here is the for the tricep i added this there are two reasons why i added this i wanted some tricep shake like this when it's uh, moving really fast or something then also to flex the tricep now this bone is also driven along its y-axis by the forearms x rotation again which is this where you can see it's expanding like this so now if you look at this it's 1.3 because this guy is going uh, further and if i go back here you can see it's 0.98 it's going in in terms of size and it's coming out you can see the graph here now i mean the curve uh we're presently at this point you can see it's going all the way up then when you come back down it's default state of one then going this way is still a flat rate now let's check it again see we are here we're here at three and it's a flat rate now if i want to make it flex i can just see it. anyway the forearm uses elbow bone deaf forearm bone and uses the forearm twist bone deaf forearm this deaf forearm i use a location driver y-axis let's check the driver out location driver that checks for the forearm else x rotation can see here so what it does is take it to the default state now you can see zero zero now when the arm rotates inward which is here now 2.2 you can see the curve which means forearm bone has moved way out of its position to this point one now if I take this down, see it's returning back, but I don't want that because everything looks too jammed up. So take it out. The elbow bone uses the same thing um, this forearm bone uses, which is the lo um, driver, location driver, which means uh, it pulls out when the forearm rotates inward. You can see it's pulling out from its point. Just like how this one is going out from its default point you can see both of them getting closer to their position now i could have used the location driver but i figured this one out first before i figured out the driver so this also works 
the way the transformation constraint work is you can make a certain location scale or rotation control another bones um, location rotation or scale depending on what you want so you can see here i use the rotation of the forearm to control the location of the elbow and you can see there are two values here they are both controlled by the x-axis of the forearm and which is the x-axis rotation you can see the other areas are empty they are grayed out which means nothing is happening 90 degrees is what, it, what we have here so within that 0 to 90 degrees these guys will move uh, along this value which means every time this bone rotates inward this elbow pulls out which is this transformation constraint now if i disable it you can see now the elbow is all smooth and curved which doesn't make sense but when you pull it out you can see it popping out you can reduce the um, value and i want it to pop out so moving to the next one arm twist bone it uh, uses a copy rotation constraint of the y-axis it's taking the rotation of the y-axis of this bone which is this this rotation but once you do this do this do this it doesn't take that you can see the z and x is disabled so that's it for the arm what we just have here is the no arm bone nothing special uh, i'll try and make more videos for the other body parts and explain further uh, i'll also leave some links of um, some tutorials i saw that helped me understand rigging better that's all thank you